Hey all my future buyers and sellers out there, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the pleasure in introducing you to the house over here for sale. We're about to take a virtual tour of it. Now it is a brand new construction 2020 and it is courtesy of Helen Shin and Creek and Ocean Real Estate that have given me the permission to do a virtual tour of it today and I cannot wait to share it with you. But before we go inside, I want you to know it's located in the city of Issaquah, oh, my favorite. Um, but also, if you haven't been to Issaquah in a while, it has quite a lot to offer. Now this house in particular is a breeze to get to all kinds of restaurants. We have Target, Costco, Trader Joe's, Fred Meyers, all in a couple miles away. It also is conveniently located about a mile and a half away from the historical Issaquah Front Street. So you'll have a wide variety of restaurants to choose from, small businesses to shop at, to get out of the house, because I feel like we all need to do that nowadays. Um, this house in particular though has five bedrooms, three and a quarter bath, so it definitely has the possibility of growing with your family. Now, without further ado, of course, you guys are all waiting for it. Let's get inside. Guys, I just want to welcome you to 673 17th Avenue, Northwest Isqua. Let's get started. First off, I just want you guys to notice how big this door is. It's absolutely massive. So moving in your furniture is gonna be a breeze, but also notice that right in the entryway, it's vaulted ceilings. So it makes it even bigger in here, which was a great addition on the builder's part. Um, and then as we come in through the front door, we have the formal seating area, formal living room. And can I just say it is meticulously staged. So it uh, really gives you the idea of, I wanna sit here and drink tea and go through my social media feed, <laughs> check out the news, that, that kind of vibe. Um, but also you'll notice that these windows are practically floor to ceiling. So you can even see the greenery in the distance, um, but all the natural light that comes into this room. Now, as we leave this area, um, you'll make it into the formal dining room area. And I love these light fixtures. I'll zoom in on those in a second. But again, you, ha you have the greenery, the natural light, massive windows, and you'll notice that the table is actually set for six technically, but I feel like there's a lot of room to grow in this area. Like look at all this space on either side of me. You could totally fit a fine china cabinet in here for all your beautiful dishes during the holidays when you're using this table, you know? Um, oh, and I mean the detail in the rain it just pops through in the picture anyways but let's make it into the kitchen dining area to this kitchen oh you guys are gonna die for it look at this Now here we are in the kitchen. Just imagine you having every kitchen appliance known to man and having a space for all of it. Look at this ample storage that this kitchen provides. Or even, you know, these massive countertops for holiday baking or um, hosting when you're cooking these big meals and you have all these side dishes. You actually have places to put everything, which is fabulous. Um, you'll also notice that the appliances are consistent, that beautiful fridge behind me um, is the same brand as the oven is the same brand as the dishwasher and that is Fisher and Paykel which is a luxury brand that is wonderful and I love that it's consistent stainless steel in the kitchen too it just lends itself to that clean new construction vibe that everybody is after nowadays if you want to feel inspired to clean some dishes then a deep spacious Look at this, uh, sink in here is the key. Also, this spout is awesome. Ooh, I'm thinking water fight, really. But the view out the window, when you are in the mood for washing dishes by hand instead of using your beautiful dishwasher, you are able to take a look and check out the greenery. Again, letting all the natural light come in. Uh, I could stay here for a while, guys. <laughs> One of my favorite features in this whole kitchen is this microwave though. I have never seen one like this. Look, beep beep, pop poop, ready for popcorn. And then it is actually a drawer, sharp, great brand, that rolls out and you can make anything to your heart's desire in this microwave. I just think that is the niftiest thing. 
We make our way to this nicely set up table, kind of like a breakfast nook, I would say, but it's perfectly positioned with the deck behind us. So you're able to take in the views outside while you're eating your cereal in the morning. Um, your kids are running down the steps to make it to breakfast. It's a simple, simple and easy setup. So I really like it. Um, and then the open concept continues from the kitchen to the breakfast area to the living room. We do have a gas fireplace in the distance. It's pretty far away because um, there's just so much room in this open concept. There is plenty of seating and space to grow with your furniture, whatever you want to put in here. However big of a TV you want can definitely fit your needs. Um, I love it because also if you're in the mood for cooking, you kind of want entertainment as well. So it's a clear sight to the TV area if you're like me and like to watch TV while you cook. Notice the tile in the laundry room. It's just another thoughtful addition in here. Now there is no washer and dryer, so you can definitely pick whatever brand you like. I love how much storage is in here so that all your cleaning supplies can be in one place in this room. And you guessed it, another massive sink to wash all your delicates in. So we have the laundry room behind me and then right across the way is the quarter bath on the main floor and behind me that door leads out to a massive two car garage with lots of storage capabilities. Um, you will notice on the wall this is one of those nest thermometers very technologically advanced um, but particularly this house has two furnaces so if you're downstairs and you have some in-laws over and they like it really cold and you want to keep your house warmer upstairs you can do that and not a lot of large houses such as this have that capability so this is really really a great feature of the home here you can see the mid-level the detailed railing ushers us up to the second floor and there is the top of those vaulted ceilings in the entryway. Now off to the left is a huge rec room now this rec room isn't actually staged, but you know what? It's just left to your imagination what you could do with it. I mean, I could see with all this space, a pool table, a ping pong table, even having a giant home gym, that would be my dream. Because with this view, it just makes the most of the room. You can see these uh, large windows are consistent throughout the house because they really kept that natural light in mind. The rec room behind me, like I said, we go to the other side of the hallway and we have that first bedroom. Um, now remember that this house has five bedrooms so quite a lot of space this would be perfect for a home office because it's kind of away from the other bedrooms uh, again with the view of outside large windows you get the idea and then we go further down the hallway follow the detailed railings to a lovely linen closet restroom with absolutely stunning tile work i don't even want to put a shower curtain up there um, and then two additional bedrooms, perfect for children that are younger, that want to live next to each other. And then we make our way to the master suite. If this bed behind me isn't big enough for you, then I don't know what is because it is huge. Along with the two nightstands, you can tell just how large they are. And there's one on both sides. So this room goes on forever and it has ample windows natural light coming in don't forget about the miniature chandelier oh beautiful touch and then you can just see that if you needed an armoire in here or a jewelry dresser or any other kind of storage in here you could definitely fit it because there is so much room but with a closet a walk-in closet to die for like this behind me then you uh, don't need any more furniture you could literally do cartwheels in this room or house every season of clothes and accessories that you own. Now follow me in here. This is the way to the master bath. Now I want you to imagine powdering your nose in here. Oh, it's so beautiful. And then we make our way to the shower behind us. Not one, but two shower heads. Talk about a makeshift steam room. Uh, the relaxation possibilities are endless. And then last but not least, a restroom to boot. Lastly, and I probably didn't even tell you this yet, but there is a third floor. So we're going to leave this upper level, hit the main level and work our way all the way down. Now from the main door, 
We have this door, which leads us to downstairs. Bet you didn't even know it was there. Let's take a look. Now we've made it to the lower level. Here is the second deck, actually. The other one's right above it with the views outside. And then we just have this wide open space of a room. But I love that the stagers gave the idea of this projection system, almost that this could be uh, an incredible, I don't know, hosting area for movie nights or even football games. We have a utility closet and then the stairs back upstairs and a full bath on this level as well. So notice the flooring is consistent and oh, this tile I'm in love with is on every level. Then we take you into quite spacious bedroom. So it's almost like this is an in-law suite where you could host people and it's like a full apartment down here. They have a living space, uh, a large walk-in closet and then their own full bath right out the door. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour. You have now successfully seen this Izaqua house that has five bedrooms, three and a quarter bath, and made it through 3,400 square feet. Now, if you do have further questions about this property or real estate in general, of course, you can reach me on my website, ellaestaterealty.com, or just leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the house because if you stayed around this long, you definitely saw how much of a masterpiece it really is. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching and sticking around with me. And I hope you're having a stupendous day.